Welcome or welcome back to Tarot and Chill. My name's Nisha, and this is a pick a card reading to find out what should you do today. I've got eight groups for you to choose from today. Group one is the Page of Cups. Group two is the Ace of Wands. Group three is the Emperor. Group four is the Four of Wands. Group five is the Knight of Swords. Group six is the Four of Pentacles. Group seven is the Ten of Swords. And group nine is the High Priestess. Please pause the video now if you need to take a moment to make your choice. Otherwise, I'll see you in your reading. All the timestamps will be below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment to let me know how it resonates for you, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you'd like a personal reading, the information will be linked below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in your reading. This is your reading if you chose the Page of Cups, and if you chose the Page of Cups, it feels like there's a message you need to send. There might be like an offer you need to make, it could be a product you want to buy or to somebody like particularly a person you love, to make them a kind of offer. So it could be like, hey, would you like to go on a date with me this evening? I'm thinking we could go to this restaurant and at this time. And also I feel like you might receive an offer like that. It's good to accept, like if you receive an offer today, say you're like selling things on Depop and you've got some really cool jacket listed for like $100. Maybe someone wants it for 75. It feels like a good person to accept the offer from. You might be like, hmm, I don't know, 75 is a bit low. But it feels good for you to accept it. You might be able to make them a counter offer as well. Like say someone invites you on a date at seven. They're like, hmm, I can't do seven, but it could be two 7.30. How about 7.15? I can get there by 7.15. Oh, you don't mind waiting for me? Oh, that's cool. It feels like there's sweet communication to have. That's honest and open and done with good intention and done... It's got like a flourish attached to it. Like if you're asking someone out, it should have like maybe a cute heart emoji. If you're like sending them a message that says, will you go out with me? It could maybe have like a flower rose emoji or a cute little heart. Well, hey, you look so pretty today with like heart eyes. It has a little decoration attached to it. Like you may be, you may be sending your job applications out for somebody and you're doing your CV. You try to make your CV look pretty, and I feel like you should try and make yourself look pretty and attractive today. It's a good day to just get a really long shower or a bath and go through your outfits and find the one that makes you feel the best. Find a cute hat, find a cute coat and a scarf and some cute boots or like a nice dress that you like or something cool like a t-shirt and jeans even that just feels comfy. It just needs to be like something you feel good in today. And I feel like it's a good day to accessorize for somebody. You have like a belt you don't wear and cufflinks. And it feels like the more you put effort in, the more impressed you'll feel with life. It's like a, a natural process where you feel beautiful. You feel good. You feel like you like the scent you're wearing. It smells good. It's a good day to smell really, really, really good. Because I do feel like you might meet someone cute today, someone attractive, someone pretty, someone handsome. I want to say, hey, would you go out with me? Would you want to go on a date later? Or can I have your number? So yeah, the more you feel good about yourself, the easier it will be to win at things like that. Like just feeling like you smell good, you look good, your teeth are clean and white. You should go over, you've got that like toothpaste white smell of your breath. You should go over and ask their number. Ask them their number, ask them out. Go tell them you think they're good looking. Because it feels like it's a good day to do that and you can have new communications with people. Feels like there's someone who might pop up in your DMs today. Or you might want to pop up in someone's DMs and just say hi. Or maybe say, hey, you look good. I feel like someone might do that to you today and it's a good day to just chat with them all day. But also for you, if you have an attraction to someone, even if there's someone you just see on Instagram or something, it feels like a good day to send them a little message to say, hey, you look good, or just like a heart eyes emoji or something. It feels like it will be responded to with, so do you, you're looking good too. Hey, how are you? What area are you from? It feels like a good day to start romantic relationships. 
or to try and make friends or just to reach out to your friends and say, how are you? I haven't seen you for ages. I hope you're okay. There's something coming through about someone who has a soft spot for you and you have a soft spot for them and they're really helpful and they might want to send you an offer for help or you might want to do the same to them and say, oh, don't worry, I can help you with that. It feels really sweet if you do that. It will create mutually loving relationships that last for a long time. If there's somebody who comes into your university you like, who needs help, do make sure you try and help them, or even if it's just being a listening ear for them. It's really important for you to be there for them today. They seem really sweet and I feel like they're going to be there for you too. There's something coming through about dancing for somebody. It's good to stretch your legs. Stretch your calves out, stretch your feet out, and maybe also move your hips from side to side. There may be some like trapped... I'm feeling like trapped energy in your lower back and your hips and your legs. And it feels good to stretch like from side to side, like move your arms over your head to either side and try and stretch them out, like on either side of your body to extend like the ribs and the back and your hips and everything. I just feel like it's a good day to stretch, do Pilates, yoga, something like that. Maybe on a foam roller as well for somebody, like just try and get out any like clicks in your lower back. And I am seeing it's really important for you to feel your best today. There's something coming through about new clothes, maybe like going shopping for new clothes, ordering new clothes online, or just going through your clothes and finding the ones that make you feel prettiest and the best. And maybe you might change how you feel about yourself throughout the day. You may have some turbulent moments. I feel like there's someone you can talk to if you're really nervous, there's someone you can say, oh, I'm so nervous, I just need a bit of encouragement right now. There's someone who will give it to you. And you don't have to say you need encouragement. But if you say, oh, I'm really nervous, I'm really stressed, they'll say something like, don't worry, it's going to be fine. If you need any help, let me know, I'm here for you. So it's a great day to connect with people emotionally and to just ask, like, if you need something, ask. If you need help, ask and ask really nicely, be really sweet about it. Like, don't just say, I need an extension on the deadline for Tuesday to your boss. Go, hey, how are you, Mrs. So-and-so or Susanna or whatever your boss's name is. Say, oh, I hope you're well today and I'm, I'm having a bit of a problem personally when they say, how are you? Because I'm just not really feeling very well and I'm going to need a few more days. I'm so sorry. And you maybe even, like, cry and say, oh, God, I don't want to cry in front of you, but I'm just feeling really stressed. I haven't been sleeping well. I need another month to finish that project. Would that be okay? I'm really sorry. Or maybe someone else would be able to help. I don't know if anyone can help. I'm just so stressed if it needs to be done by tomorrow, say. And I feel like someone will say, don't worry about it. No, there's no deadline. There's no rush. You can do it by next week. Don't worry. And also I will help. Yes. So it's really nice if you're just honest. Let your emotions flow. If you really have an attraction to someone, it's okay to just like look them up and down and be like, you are so fine. You are fine, fine, fine. You good looking, you. Rather than just like making it seem like you're cool and cool. Like, yeah, I'm fine. Secretly you're drooling over them, but you're just like, yeah. Like disinterested, looks the other way. That's not as good as being really open and like looking them in the eyes and letting your eyes get like lustful over them even and showing them that you fancy them. Show them that you've got the hearts for them. Tell them that you like them. Be really open with your friends. Communicate to people, ask people out on dates if you want to, or ask people to the movies, or to go for a coffee, check in with everyone, make sure they're feeling okay. Get yourself dressed up and feeling nice, and I feel like you may have an opportunity to go swimming, or ice skating is coming through for somebody, or like to go see a ballet, or to go somewhere really beautiful, it's like somewhere gorgeous you can go. For someone it might be to the beach, or somewhere like that. But yeah, I'm seeing there's an invitation and it's good to accept anyway if you get an invitation and it's good to invite people as well. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. It feels like a good social day where you can have lots of good communications and share with people. Share your emotions, feel really great, feel really beautiful. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this reading. Leave me a comment so I know how it resonated for you. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Check out the other content on my channel if you're interested. And if you'd like a personal reading, the information will be linked below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. This is your reading if you chose the Ace of Wands. And if you chose the Ace of Wands, it's a great day to start new things and take action. Say yes. 
Feel powerful, feel motivated, feel like you can do it. Try and access your energy centers and your motivation and your feelings about things in a positive way. Like try to get positive, try to get optimistic, try to get that feeling of being driven and ready to just take on the challenges of the day. I feel like it's a great day to go for a nature walk or a run. Some kind of exercise that gets you out of breath would be good. It, it will make you feel a lot better. You're going to feel strengthened. I also feel like someone might want to do something. It's really a random comment, but someone might want to smoke some weed or just like pick up some weed or something. It might be something you're planning to do today. And it's okay. Like it's okay for you to smoke some weed. It's fine. Don't worry. You might want to go outside in nature and just like sit in a park and do some like shamanic meditation, breathing. Maybe do a dance for sun and summer and spring or something like that. Like be a nature, be a nature person today. It feels good for you. I also feel like there's someone who might be able to do you a, a favor. And if you ask them, they'll say yes. Something's coming through about driving. Like you need somebody to help you drive something somewhere. It might be like delivering a package to someone or helping you to read okay. Or also you might be wanting to ask someone if they want to go on a holiday with you. It could be like a camping holiday or something like that. It feels really good to plan something like a camping holiday. Or to access your excitement about whatever could be a new possibility for you. Like try something you haven't tried before. Take on a new challenge. Say it's okay, I don't mind. Instead of complaining. Just say yes to everything. It also feels like a good day to assist if you ask to assist like just say yes like yeah I can do that for you no problem take on a new responsibility especially at work I feel like it will be good for you it's a great day to try and branch out into new things and try and add to what you're starting like you can develop on say if you've got an idea for a sketch or a song or something you can get like the base idea down and then you'll start to develop on it naturally don't worry about the second like, if you're writing a book, don't worry about the second page. Just start writing and see how much you get done. I feel like you might get loads done, even though you don't feel like you will. And it's good to take things as fun, get excited about them. Don't feel like you have to do things or, oh, God, that's so annoying. I've got to go here. Just get excited about it. Think, yay, fun. I get to go over here. I get to do this thing. How exciting. Like, just try and see it as an enjoyable, enjoyable, fun occasion. There's something coming through about maybe sex or like a one night stand or someone really attractive who has an offer for you or an opportunity for you. It might be good to take them up on the opportunity today. It feels like there's a lot of growth potential with someone who's interested in you or you're interested in them. So if someone asks you for your number today, you might want to say yes and give them the number. Or if you see someone attractive, you might want to ask for their number. You might have, got, you might have watched group one as well. There's something coming through about a creative project again, and it feels like it really does develop itself easy, and I feel like you won't even need to try, like you don't need to try and start to do this thing. It's like, say you're relaxing and you're a musician, you might just start humming a melody, and it feels good for you to just write the notes down on some music notation paper, or record it into your phone, or just start trying to sit at the piano and catalogue your idea and memorise it. It feels really developmental, like it's really easy for you, but it also gives you a sense of self that's different and it gives you a sense of wow and like wonder about life. There's a place you can find where you can kind of look and find it's something that's like a pinpoint your vision here thing and it's very important when you notice it, it's really big, but it might seem small first. It might be like you, you're you looking for a spot to put a piece of furniture. It doesn't have to be anything deep. And you maybe don't notice until you notice and you think, yes, that's the perfect layout. Oh, that makes so much sense. And then you just do it. Don't delay anything you want to do today. Just do it as soon as you think about it. Like if you get up and you feel like going for a run, don't even think, oh, I have to shower and change into my gym outfit and I have to do this and I have to bring water and I have to do this. Just go, just get your shoes on, run out the door, obviously get dressed. Don't be like naked running, but... Just put on whatever outfit's nearest to you and go and just run. And you're going to feel really better. I feel like someone might want to do something with their nails, like a manicure, a pedicure, something. Even just like getting an orange stick and cleaning under the, the nails. I'm sorry, that's really random and specific, but I feel like for someone that's 
a nice thing to do today. And there's something coming through about boxing or another sport that you like to entertain yourself with. It's not for exercise purposes, just for exercise. It's more because it feels good and it's fun and it will give you energy and it will make you feel better and more motivated and more yourself. So yeah, I think you've got somewhere really nice you can spend time where you can go for a run or something or go for a long walk and it would be good to start there. And it's good to just engage in communication, even if it's like banter, like someone making fun of you in the group chat. It's good to engage back and like, haha, good one, mate. Like, it's just one of those days where you can just say like, yeah, it's all right, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. I like it. It's hilarious. Like, don't, don't feel put upon by things. Don't feel angered by things. There's no reason today. Everything's all love. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. It's fun. It feels like you can just get excited and take action and be brand new and fresh and act like you don't know anything. You've never been here before. It's all new. It's all exciting. You might want to go somewhere brand new. You've never gone before. Like, just go for a walk and explore and see where you end up. And I feel like you'll end up somewhere fun. Or call people you don't usually call, who you haven't spoken to for a year. Even if it's like your just bullies you friend who just calls you a dickhead on the phone and makes fun of your shoes. Feels like it's still funny, like, just call that person and make fun of their shoes as well. And, or like, I'm all right, I don't need to get those trainers, everyone's got those trainers, mate. <laughs> it feels like that day to just get engaged with things. Someone might be getting engaged, if someone offers you a ring, you should say yes! Yes, please. Honestly, it's such a good day for creatives as well, I feel like you've got something... Something really big that you can do, and it's like a thumbs up from you. It's good to just say yes to things today and like uh, show your optimism and your agreement straight away. If you've got an agreement to sign, sign it straight away. And there's something that's like a bonus that you should say yes to. It's like a bonus thing where you should say, yes, please, thanks. That would be really nice. Amazing. I hope you liked the reading. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below. Leave me a comment to let me know how it resonated for you. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Check out the other content on my channel if you're interested. And if you'd like a personal reading, the information will be below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. This for you if you chose the Emperor. And if you chose the Emperor, it feels like a good day to just take control of your life and sit on things until later if you're not really sure how to deal with them. Because you've got very serious decisions to make and you're very... You're very... Surely the only person who's going to sort things out, like nobody else is going to sort this problem for you. There might be a husband or a dad for somebody or some man in your life you can ask. But honestly, I just feel like it's down to you, you and only you. It's your responsibility. It's your thing. And you have to think of the solution and find the answer and try to make everything work for you and try to keep control of everything. I'm feeling like it may be not a very comfortable day and you might not want to get comfortable today. I mean, it's okay for you to sit down, but it's like you're sitting down to work. You're sitting down in a way that's not like you're resting. You're more like staying ready. I feel like it's that moment to do something that's very big and very needed. It's like not just because you want to do it, not because it's fun, but because you have to, like you don't have a choice. It's really important. It's kind of like a do or die kind of situation, but it's not that deep today because it's more like think about it. Make sure that you're on track. Make sure that you're having the will to succeed and make sure you've got your eye on situations and you know what's going on. It's a good day to be really organized and make sure you've written everything down and planned and put everything in your calendar. And even things like make sure you've done your food prep for the week in front of you or make sure you've done your laundry made sure that your outfits are planned or some other kind of planning thing that's for you to have everything sorted for you later. It feels very good to keep your eye on what's needed and what's most necessary. And if you're doing something like a budget today, you might have to cut some things and be really ruthless and just say, well, we don't need it. Nope, there's no budget for that. We don't need it. We don't need a holiday. We don't need restaurant meals. We don't need delivery. Sorry. Sorry. Nope. And it feels like you just have to be cutthroat with yourself or with others on the not spending money and just deciding it's not worth it for you. Because it feels like you kind of have what you need, even if it's not particularly comfortable, even if it's not everything that you need, even if you don't feel completely satisfied, even if it's not what you want. It just feels like you're in a position where you have control of things. 
and you can continue to control things and plan for things to be better for you. I feel like someone's got a new job and it's not comfortable and you're not comfortable with your position. It's like a leadership position or a managerial position or a position where you have to be in control. Someone, it could be a security guard or like a night watchman or something else like security camera. You might be looking at security cameras or you could be a police officer or someone else who's trying to like watch out for people. And I feel like you could feel angry just kind of naturally, like you feel stressed and angry all day. But it's not bad for you to feel like that. It's kind of helpful. And I feel like no matter how comfortable this job is not for you, like it feels not comfortable. No matter how bad you feel about being put in this position of responsibility, it's good for you to just take it and just do your best with it. Because it's your position and you're responsible for it. And I feel like you're going to take it seriously and it's good for you to take it seriously. And don't try and go somewhere else where it's more comfortable. Like it's just not good to aspire towards being comfortable today. It's better to aspire towards being correct being organized, having a plan, being on budget, being focused, having things resolved, being responsible, being trustworthy, being orderly, having everything planned and prepared and stored away. It feels like good for you to just have the minimum, like basically what you need and nothing more. And don't try and go for like luxury or something that's more fun for you or something that's nicer it feels like not a day to be nice and not a day to do anything except be fair reasonable and just it's kind of like that stick to your guns and don't let anyone sway you from your guns energy I like don't let anyone change your plan if you've decided that you can't afford something don't buy it or if you can't if you can't justify spending extra time on something just don't like you've said you're going to spend from 12 to 1 on it once 1pm comes around, you need to stop working on whatever that was and move on to your 1 till 2pm plan. Be really, really, really strict with yourself and be strict with others and be disciplined and be like a disciplinarian with yourself. Don't take any shit from yourself. Don't take any, I can't do that right now. No, I'm going to do it later. Like, no, be the boss. Be like, no, no. I want to see you drop and give me 20 now. Like, nope, you're not going to flop on your fitness goals today. No, drop and give me 20. Or you're not going to spend that 20 today, put it in your pocket and save it. It feels like really time to be the boss with yourself. Time to be the dad with yourself. For someone, you might need to express dissatisfaction with someone in a way that's like, I'm very disappointed with you. It's really, really, really not very fun and it's not for the weak-willed, but it's something maturing about this day and this energy that you have to fulfil and what you have to do, and I do feel like someone may have a message they need to communicate to their boss or their dad, but your dad or your boss is like a disciplinarian, strict, scary, wouldn't want to talk to him, stone cold, sober kind of guy, and you might feel a bit scared about asking him something. And it feels like maybe not the right day, but also like you have to anyway. So I feel like you have to appeal to a sense of logic if you're asking him something, not to his emotions. His emotions will never, ever, ever, ever be played on. You can't play with his emotions, you have to just be sensible. So if it's your boss, you can't be like, Hey, um, so I've got a million and one problems and feel sorry for me. No, I'm so sorry, that's really not going to work. You need to be mature and not babyish. You need to say, Good afternoon, I've got a proposal for you. What it is, is this sensible thing, this sensible thing, logical solution, rational solution, problem, solution, outcome. And I've fi I figured it all out for you, I've solved the problem. Thank you. Thank you for understanding my solution. Thank you so much. Like, you need to be sensible. You need to plan and just come up with, like, a proposal that's got points and problem, solution, cost of fixing this problem, rather than, like, wine, 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 me, 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 feel sorry for me. That's not cutting it today. Sorry, get serious. Grow up. I need to tell someone to grow up and stop whining and just do it and just... Explain to people the logical, practical, why you can't do it if you can't do something. You need to be really serious with yourself today, for sure. And just don't slack at all. Don't let up on what you're meant to be doing at all. And don't... Don't let yourself be sloppy, I want to say. Like, it's really, it's really time to be, like, boring and serious. And just get on with what you've got to do and be a grown-up. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. 
leave me a comment let me know how it resonated for you subscribe if you're not already subscribed check out the other content on my channel if you're interested and if you'd like a personal reading the information will be below thank you for watching and i hope to see you again soon bye your reading if you chose the four of wands and if you chose the four of wands it feels like a great day to relax at home with the people you love the most and relaxing means just like don't really worry about anything that you don't need to worry about today feels like you've got somewhere where you can just relax you've done enough already you've made things happen for yourself as much as you can and it feels like time to celebrate a win get together with other people who you feel on the same level with who you feel good about spending time with and support each other like if you have a friend that tells you good news today like they passed their driving test or they got a new job or they're having a baby or whatever it might be they've got a new pet puppy just feel really happy for them and celebrate with them go and join in if you're invited if you're invited to a birthday party it's great to go there might be a party or a celebration you can go to today maybe you're having a housewarming party it's good to have like a housewarming party if you've moved house it feels really good to settle in make it nice make it your own maybe put up some things on the walls try and drape some fabric over your sofa or paint the walls a nice color organize your furniture so it feels like welcoming and warm maybe get some plants or flowers arranged around your place maybe buy somebody flowers to congratulate them or something sweet like that i also feel like there may be some work you need to do in your house it's like a small diy project like just fix this one tile on the roof that's coming loose and then you can relax all day and you've got nothing else to do it just feels really nice like you have one task to do it's like hanging a photo on the wall nothing big you don't have to do it but it's good to just get it done so you can say yay i feel really good i did that thing i'm feeling like there's a great place you can go nearby as well that's with your community and it could be online it doesn't have to be in real life but it feels like there's a community where you feel happy you feel supported you feel like people are equal to you and you enjoy spending time with them there's lots of like hubbub and interesting conversation and friends and maybe even like frenemies and people you don't like but they're kind of far away and you maybe just laugh at them with your friends or you don't take them seriously i feel like mostly you're just hanging out with friends today we're hanging out with family or just being by yourself but feeling really one with yourself and feeling really great it feels like someone might win something or get to celebrate something for themselves like not someone else's celebration but your celebration and it feels good to just celebrate yourself especially if it's your birthday or something happy birthday if it's your birthday it feels really good to go out for a meal order a takeaway or invite a friend over just maybe buy yourself something that's a gift it could be flowers it doesn't have to be something expensive it could be chocolates and just have a happy day it feels great to have a happy day and enjoy yourself and know that you've reached somewhere that's for you an important stage of your development feels like you've completed a stage of a project that's good to celebrate it's good to not underestimate how important what you've done is until this point it's like really good for you to appreciate your achievements and think about everything you've ever achieved in life take a moment to think wow wow i've actually done really well and raise your fist in the air and like celebrate yourself and think yeah i did it or we did it look at us we made it it's a good day for you i feel like you should try and have a good day whatever that means for you and it's a good day for w working at home rather than going out to the office if you can or being outside in your garden or your neighborhood but near your house if you don't want to be like in your house because it feels like a nice sunny day for somebody maybe there's like a farmer's market you can go to or something i'm hearing that's that's really random but yeah i'm hearing there's like a grocery store or a farmer's market or some other market where people are selling things and it seems like you can get like a win like you find you find a whole watermelon that's really big for like 20 cents or something and it's like wow i get to eat this whole watermelon for 20 cents it feels delicious and happy with a whole bunch of flowers for a dollar and they're so pretty maybe it's like wet red roses and you can get 12 red roses for a dollar maybe they're 12 dollars but you just want them and you don't mind the 12 dollars they're usually 24 dollars it feels really happy and i'm going to say that there's someone there's someone who you can talk to who will celebrate your wins with you and make you feel better and there's someone who you might meet with today who's very important to meet with if you have a meeting or a job interview or something feels really good to think positively and go there and feel 
on the same level as the person you're talking to. Be able to connect with them as equals, because I'm seeing that you are equals and you will have a lot to talk to each other about. Like you're there for the same reason, even if it's a job interview, at the end of the day, they're hiring. They want somebody, they want somebody to do the job. You want a job. So it's like very mutually beneficial, that relationship. There's no reason for you to not go and meet them. There's no reason why they wouldn't want to meet you. There's no reason why they wouldn't be happy to see you. There's no reason why they wouldn't think you're good for the job if they've invited you for an interview. So try and feel that happiness of like, oh yeah, they want to see me. Like they actually want to see me. Like I'm invited. So don't feel shy if you're invited somewhere. Like, yes, they invited you. They invited you. So you should show up. And I want to say show up with bells on. Like show up and be happy and in a good mood. And like, yes, I'm so happy to see everyone. Rather than like, hi, I'm a shrinking Lila in the corner being boring at the party. Don't be boring at the party. Go and join in. And even if you feel shy, there's someone you can talk to on the edge of the party. But it feels like more like if you go and make the most of the party, it will feel like your party as well as your best friend's party and you're not taking away from your best friend. It's just making it better for your best friend if you go and you bring the energy. Like it's not narcissistic or entitled if you want to go and bring life to the party. It's not like you're trying to show off or something. I, d I don't know who needs to be told that, but it's like actually you being warm and funny and loud and excitable and doing your cartwheel and your funny dance moves and twerking and whatever else you're doing, telling your jokes, it will make your friend happy if it's your friend's party. Like it will make the party better. And at the end of the day, that's why you're invited. You're invited because you bring the party and you make the party fun and you do something that's enjoyable when you're there like I feel like you might bring bottles of alcohol or you might bring food or you might bring flowers or you might just bring something that's like sparklers or sprinkles of confetti I'm feeling like you're one of those people who like to make things like funner than they usually are and you're gonna do that today even if you're just cleaning your house I feel like you can put on music and dance while you're vacuuming and maybe put on a funny out outfit I'm feeling someone is literally like trying to channel Prince while they're cleaning or um, Michael Jackson and they're doing the moonwalk and cleaning. I'm feeling it's really funny for you. You just get in with your, uh, you're in with your friends and you're just hanging out with your friends and the most mundane thing like going to the supermarket feels like the most memorable event of all time. And I feel like even on your own, you can make things seem like the most memorable day of all time. And a movie worthy moment, like a moment that's worthy of being written about in a book or something just because you're having such fun cleaning your house and it's almost like you can imagine a movie that starts with like a guy and he's dancing around in his underwear and he's like really good at dancing and he's singing into his microphone or into his um toilet brush or something and he's like cleaning his toilet and then singing and pretending it's a microphone it's fun right like you can just have fun today even if you're just trying to fix your roof or call someone to fix your roof. It might be really fun. Like, try all the contractors and see who seems funny. Like, who's got a nice name? Who do you like the most? Just try and make life a game that's fun to win. And if you do have something small to finish before you can relax and feel happy, get it over with quickly. It might be just like getting your laundry out of the washing machine. It's such a small thing. It's like such a minor. But when you do it, you're going to feel like, yay, now I've got nothing to do and I can just watch Love Island or whatever it is you want to do today. Now I can just dance in my underwear all day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates for you. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Check out the other content on my channel. And if you'd like a personal reading, the information will be below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. This reading is for you if you chose the Knight of Swords. And if you chose the Knight of Swords, it's a really good time to just attack your problems. Take them really seriously and get really aggressive with dealing with them. Don't take no for an answer. Don't stop until you get where you need to go. Don't stop until you've got everything you need to get done done. Even if you're rushing, even if you're not having time to catch up with yourself, even if you don't have time to catch your breath or eat or do anything else, it feels like a really good time just to get loads done and to prioritize the most important things and to just do whatever you can do as quickly as you can do it. Like don't leave anything for later. I feel like the energy of someone going around the house like a tornado, just like picking up loads of stuff from the floor. Like you've got loads and loads and loads of boxes and packaging peanuts around your house and like clothes that you've tried on and not returned and 
like a little cigarette butt and I don't know what else you've got on your floor but there's loads of like crisp packets and drinks bottles and it just looks a mess so hurry up and clean it while we're in around your house cleaning 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 I also feel like someone has a million and one things to do today on their to do list and it's like go to the post office go to the bank speak to someone about something go to an appointment call your boss submit a piece of work submit a tax return and actually you have enough work for three days but it's actually okay to do it all today you just need to really plan your journeys well you need to make sure you're not going to be late and if you are late, just message people in the way and say, I'm really sorry, I'm running late. Actually phone people, don't text them. Phone them today and don't expect them to reply quickly unless you chase them and follow them up. And there may be a good, a good person to follow up with today who you need to keep phoning, where you need to go and speak to them in person. Like you might have to just go and turn up at the house. It feels like a good day to dress really warm and imagine that it's gonna be windy and rainy and you need to be outside a lot because you're going to be traveling a lot here and there. And it's going to be a stressful day, so be prepared that it's going to be stressful. You might want to take like a snack in your bag. You might not get time to eat it even if it's just a little snack. Like a fruit, I'm seeing someone has like a fruit roll up and they really want to eat their fruit roll up. And you get one little nibble of your fruit roll up and you just have to put it away and you think, oh God, I want to eat so much. You have peanuts in your bag and you have like two peanuts, then you have to put them away. And they all spill on the floor and you think, oh God, I wish I hadn't opened the peanuts. Take tape if you're going to have peanuts. Take like tape to shut them. It feels really good for you to try and remember to pack a bag before you leave. Because once you go, you're going to be really stressed. I feel like once you leave the house today, it's going to be delays and it's maybe rush hour and someone's train is running late and you have to run for the train. Even though you're running late and the train's running late, it's like you still have to run and try and get in the train before the doors close. Well, you have to try and get in the traffic queue before it fills up, like you have to try and speed to overtake other people and get in the right lane. And I think it is the right hand side one. It's like get in the right hand lane and you can go fast or you can get above, you can get in front of traffic. It feels really important for you to just try and be thinking three steps ahead and try and keep your eyes in front of you. Don't get distracted. If someone behind you is like, yo, 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 and trying to talk to you, when you're rushing somewhere, just say, I'm so busy, I can't talk, sorry. I'm, I'm really serious, you have to be like, I'm not now, I'm busy. And don't talk to them, don't get distracted, just be like, ugh, can't you see I'm busy? And not talk to them seriously, you don't need to talk to anyone about anything unless they need it today. And do communicate quickly if you need to talk to somebody. It should be immediate replies. And try and get on with what you've got to do, like develop the plan quick as possible. If you're doing something with like work idea or you've got a deadline for university or something, it's good to just do it, like just do it immediately, do it as quickly as you can. Don't go back and try and fix things. Like if you've got an essay to write, write it all. Don't even worry if the spelling grammar's wrong. And then go back and fix it afterwards. Like it's better if you just submit something rather than nothing, especially if, it, if you're at university. Even if your essay is like a third class essay, when you'd usually submit a second class essay or a first class essay, it's good to just submit it, like don't submit it late, just get it done. Even if you're not prepared to leave the house, like you haven't brought your peanuts, you haven't got the right shoes, you don't like your outfit, you haven't done your makeup, sorry, you've got to go anyway. Like go even if you're halfway through doing, like, doing your jacket. And for someone it's like you've got your toothbrush in your mouth still and you have to take your toothbrush and like brush your teeth at the bus stop. And I'm really sorry, but it's like you're running out with your toothbrush in your mouth and like swishing your, your mouth out with water and just like spitting and then getting the bus. It's really, really stressful. I feel like you have an excuse to just be that person today. That person eating on the bus, talking on the bus, having a phone call at the hairdressers that's really stressful while the hairdresser's doing your hair and saying, I'm sorry, how long will this take? Is it going to be long? Because I've got another place I've got to go. Is it going to be more than a 10 minute wait? Okay, I'll come back. Then you have to go and like do your grocery shop at the local mini mart and then go back to the hairdressers. You get there again in 10 minutes and if they say it's going to be another 10 minutes, you might want to say, okay, I might have to reschedule for another day. I'm really sorry. No, it's like it has to be now. I have to go. I'm sorry. No, I can't. Um, no, I can't. Sorry. Or I was just going to get my nails done. Maybe I can't get my nails done. Maybe I was going to get a manicure and a pedicure, but I'm just getting a manicure now because um, you're late. It feels like really, really bad if someone else is late. Sorry, that's my stomach. 
and you might have to get on at them like, you're five minutes late, where were you? It feels good for you to complain today actually and get fed up about things. Like to be honest, sometimes complaining works, you don't have to be horrible. But like recently I was not having an oven working, my oven wasn't working. So I ordered a pizza and the pizza came and it was like a meal. They didn't send the drink and I wasn't like that mad about the drink. I just wanted the drink to turn up. I thought they'd send another drink if I said, hey, my drink didn't arrive. Could I have a drink, please? They ended up refunding my whole meal cost. So I feel like you might find that if you complain, someone's just really good to you and thinks, oh, what can we do? Well, how about we give you a free appointment next time to make up for your manicure lady not being ready to do the appointment? And, uh... Yeah, here's also a voucher to give you your money back for this time. We're really sorry. So you're getting like free nail appointments for two nail appointments when you were going to pay for this one. So it's really stressful and now you have to find another nail appointment or maybe walk around with nails that you don't like. You, you don't feel very pretty with them or whatever, but it feels like there may be something cancelled, but it's just for the best. Like maybe your nail appointment's cancelled and it's good because you wouldn't have got to the work meeting if you'd actually even had your appointment at the time it was meant to be. You maybe would have been three minutes late. So it's better for you to just go and get a lunch break because, listen, your nail appointment's cancelled, that's time for you now. You can get five minutes to yourself or you can make that phone call you weren't going to get time to make today and rescheduled for tomorrow. You can do that as well, like reschedule things, but it feels like just good to be like, no, I need to do it now. I'm going to do it now. There's no tomorrow. It has to be today. It feels good to be stressed today, actually. Like, don't fight your stress. Don't try and stress relieve, you're not meant to. You're meant to be stressed, you're meant to be anxious, you're meant to be under pressure. Someone might be putting pressure on you, it feels good to just respond to that. And if you have to put pressure on people, put pressure on people. If you have to fight, fight people. If you have to take charge, take charge. It just feels like you have to do what you have to do. And it's so uncomfortable and unpleasant, but once, once you get to the other side, it's gonna feel comfortable. Like, the quicker you can move today, the quicker you can get through this uncomfortable, stressful, busy, too much to do, too much on your plate time. And it feels like it's just a day. It might be a week for somebody. And it's, like, too fast. Like, you have to run too fast to the point where you feel like you're going to die because you're running so fast. And you feel like you haven't had any breakfast or anything even. But it just feels necessary. It's a necessary evil right now. And I do feel like there maybe need to be some strong communication with someone it's like this is the last time i'm saying this to you no or like this is your final warning if you don't do this tomorrow you're fired or something like that like somebody is maybe needing to give a final warning someone may also be on a final warning if you're on like a final warning just please take it seriously because it's going to be more stressful if you don't take it seriously anyway i hope you enjoyed the reading thank you for watching don't forget to hit the thumbs up button Honestly, you've got so many things to do today, I feel like I can't let you watch this reading anymore. So just get your to-do list, write everything down and just do it and don't even take any excuses from yourself. If you'd like a personal reading, get in touch, the information will be below. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave me a comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. This reading is for you if you chose the Four of Pentacles. And if you chose the Four of Pentacles, you need to keep your cards close to your chest today. Hold on to your money, try not to spend any of it. Try and figure out how you can use it to make more. It feels like there's certain money that you need to set aside for things you've already agreed to spend it on. So you may have a pot that's for rent and a pot that's for food and a pot that's for like your phone bill and then you have something that's optional like you could spend this money, but should you? It feels like it's good to think about something that you could spend it on that would make more come or something you could spend it on that is helping you to bring security, but I feel like you might need to keep it just in case. It's like maybe, maybe it's something that might come up in a week or a day that means that you shouldn't really spend your extra. And I feel like it's good to budget today and try and stick to your budget. And think about even how a small amount of money over your budget could cause you like a night's lost sleep because you're trying to think of how to make that up. For someone, this may be something to do with property. You could be trying to bid or buy a property, bid on or buy a property. You could be trying to make an offer to rent a property or something. Could be trying to move, you could be trying to buy a business or invest in a company or find investment for your own company. But it feels like not the time to act today, it's more time to, again, keep your cards close to your chest. Don't actually make an offer, but maybe communicate about it will plan your own budget and see if you can actually afford it or if you can't really afford it. 
I'm seeing there is more money to come. And there is enough to go around whatever you need to spend on. You have enough and you don't need to worry and you don't need to stress about money that much, but it does feel like there's not a whole load extra besides what you actually need. So do try not to spend on things just for the sake of it. It's better to be safe than sorry today. And it feels like good to keep control of your own life and your own situation. To be able to manage everything yourself without asking anyone else for help. So don't ask for a handout today. It feels like not a good time to ask for money. But it's also a good time to hold on to your own money. So if you can do something yourself that's good for your own finances, do that today. Keep a hold of everything you need to do. With regards to money, like if you have a job, just stay with your job. Just keep doing the same job that you always do. Keep doing it well. Make sure you're managing. Make sure you're planning. Make sure you're organizing yourself. Make sure you're on time. I feel like someone might have to do something like organize their possessions, cataloging them, putting them in the right places. It might just be like putting your washing away, making sure your house is in order and cleaning and going through your shoe collection and maybe trying to see if one's good to put for sale or something like that. Anyway, I've got to go, so I'm going to leave the reading here, but it feels like quite a boring day where you can just kind of do the basics and what you need to keep your money situation okay and like eat enough food. And think about the next three days and make sure you've got what you need in the next three weeks, in the next three months. Be a bit selfish today, just keep yourself to yourself. Nobody really needs anything from you. I think you need to keep it for yourself. And think about uh, what's worth it and what's not worth it. And what you have and how to keep it. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment to let me know how it resonated for you. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Check out the other content on my channel if you're interested. If you'd like a personal reading, get in touch. The information will be below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. This reading is for you if you chose the Ten of Swords. If you chose the Ten of Swords, it's time to give it a rest and maybe just get a rest. Go to bed. It feels like someone's been awake for too many hours. You might have been awake for two days straight. Maybe you've only been awake for 10 hours. It's just been a normal day. But it's been a long day and it kind of feels like it's just time to go to bed and give up. I feel like you may need to accept that you can't do something that you promised you would do. I'd have to tell someone, look, I'm sorry, I might have made false promise. Like I said, I'd be able to do this thing for you by this time, but I can't do it by that time. It feels like you have to accept failure, accept defeat. Just admit that you may have done something wrong or admit that it's not good for you to keep going with something. I do feel like someone might be having to admit that they've lied and you might have to just let them sit in their own misery. That's a random message. Like, don't say, oh, it's okay. Just let them stay in their feeling guilty and they're feeling bad. And for someone, you might have to stay in your feeling guilty and feeling bad to kind of go through that process of like, ew, I feel really bad. Like, oh, I did fuck up, didn't I? Mm, fuck, I did fail, didn't I? And someone that's like really feeling your emotions and your trauma and having a scream into a pillow if you feel like it and like punching the pillow and slamming your fist against the floor and asking, why me, God, why me? It feels good for you, like if you just exhaust your exhaust your negative emotions, get to the end point with them, where they're all used up and gone and cried out. You're all cried out, you're all screamed out, you're all depressed out, you can't do it anymore. You just can't, you have to say no, give it up. You might have to break up with someone or again, tell someone no, say no to something. And it's like a hard no, not like a no maybe later. Maybe we can get back together, it's like absolutely no, done. Divorce, finished, can't stand it anymore. I feel like you may need to just pause something that was exhausting you. But it's not a pause, like don't see it as like, oh, I'll do that later. Just, it's better to see it as I'm never going to get that done, am I? I'm never going to do that, am I? Like, it's just not for me, it's not happening. Like, if you're trying to talk to somebody and they don't talk to you, it might just be better to accept, like, this is never going to work. We're never going to speak to each other again. And even if you do, like, this might be universe lying to you to get you to just move past the point where you keep wanting to flog a dead horse. I'm hearing it's like better for you to not flog the dead horse anymore and have like the final word in a situation and just act like you're moving on. And it's not like an act, it's more like you genuinely need to know that as far as everything's concerned, it's not a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It, it's done, like just leave it. And if maybe, maybe if you act not interested enough and you are genuinely disinterested enough in the situation for a month, 
Maybe like, let's say it's you break up with someone, maybe they do come back in a month and say, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. And that's like something to not look forward to. It's better if you believe that it's done forever. It's just better if you just think, I'm not going to try with that situation anymore because it's a waste of my energy. Like, ew, I would never waste more of my energy there. No thanks, rather than thinking maybe it's worth it. Should I just peer under the the cover at the dead things some more? Like, no, they're dead, bestie. Walk away from the dead things. And I'm really sorry if you have a news of a death or something today. It feels like there might be a funeral or something to attend. And I'm really sorry if you have to attend a funeral. It's good for you to go if you have to go. It's good for you to just accept the loss, even though it's really horrible. I know it's horrible and you can't just accept it. But also you kind of can, like you can think about it like that person's not coming back. They're dead. That's really sad. That's absolutely traumatic sad. You don't have to pretend not to be sad. You don't have to say, oh, it's fine. It's more like, no, they are. They're really sorry to be dead as well. They're really sorry. Like, they're sorry if they are dead. And I'm sorry if something's dead, like if the situation's dead. If you have like a dead plant or if you're just having to deal with a job loss or no money in your account for something, I feel like you do just need to accept it and get over the losses. For someone, you might want to just go bankrupt or something and stop trying to pretend you can afford more credit or afford whatever it is. Afford the holiday, afford the date. You might just want to be honest and say, no, I can't actually. Like, that's just not happening. And it's very final. And if someone else says no to you, it's final. And it's just time to, like, give it up. Like, if someone says good luck with your with your job search, don't be attached to that job anymore. Like, that job's not coming. That's not your job. There's another job, even if a position opens up in five months. Just don't expect to get it. Just try and get over it that's what I'm going to say get over it today but also it's going to be not very easy to get over it and sometimes for you getting over it means just like accepting it and experiencing the horribleness and screaming about it and saying why me god and punching the floor and letting your emotions be extreme even like that's okay you're allowed to have extreme emotions there's nothing to stop you from being really angry and being sad and being depressed and having a bad day you're allowed to have a bad day. You don't have to be positive. You actually don't. You can be negative and sad and miserable and in a bad mood, especially if you've gone through a loss. Like, you're okay to just say, I'm fucking hating life today. Like, life sucks. You're okay to say that. You don't have to pretend. You don't have to be positive. You don't have to sugarcoat things to people and say, I'm fine. You can say, no, I'm not fine. I'm not okay. Someone needs to quit their job or something and it's just time for you to say, no, I hate this fucking job. I'm not happy here. I want to quit. Just be honest. I feel like the honest, bitter truth is better than the lies to try and cover up how bad things are. Like, you can't pretend something's not dead when it's dead. Like, you could. Say if you have, like, a dead lily in your house, you could try and just, like, convince yourself the lily's still alive. But it might be better to just part ways and say your goodbyes and pray and let go as much as you can and I, I feel like you might just want to have a bad day when you're depressed in bed that's okay you're allowed you're just allowed i'm gonna leave it there because i feel like you might just want to go and like huff and puff on your own and sigh and you kind of should today it's okay it's okay to just wallow in your misery actually like you're allowed you're allowed just don't flog a dead horse don't try and keep pushing an argument when it's done Except what is done is done. Don't try and pass the exam when you've already failed. It's just no reason you've already failed. It's, it's like, oh, I failed. I don't have to try and retake it. Just do, It's just done. Like, just accept it. It's fine. You can't do anything about it. It's what done is done. And it's over. And that's that's all there is to know about it. It's just over. And I'm sorry if that's sad. But I'm, I'm hoping that you enjoyed the reading or got something from it anyway. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below. Leave me a comment to let me know how it resonates for you. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Check out the other content on my channel if you're interested. And if you'd like a personal reading, the information will be below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. This is your reading if you chose the High Priestess. If you chose the High Priestess, there's something really important that does require your attention. It requires for you to sit down and have a think about it. I am hearing that, like, just sit and, ha just sit and have a think. 
Try not to stress yourself. Don't overexert yourself today. It feels like a time to not physically do very much. A time to pray, a time to meditate, a time to just sit and think, a time to be by yourself, a time to read and maybe research. But also don't look too far. I feel like you don't need to look too far. There's some information missing right now. There's some hidden information. There's something that's secret from you that you would need to know in theory. And it's very important for you to know, but I feel like right now there's some information you, you need to digest. You need to absorb, you need to reflect on. There's something you've already learned that you're developing your understanding of and maybe allowing to get you somewhere or show you something. It does feel like people have been noisy around you. Today you have a chance for some quiet and it's good for you to use it. It feels like you have somewhere nice to go. It's like a nice small space where you feel very comfortable. It doesn't have to be small, but it feels cozy. It feels like you have good curtains to keep the draft out at least. You feel quite safe and I feel like you have really great ideas that come to you. When you just open up your mind and your third eye, maybe close your eyes to a lot of other things or just get in a safe private space. Your privacy is very important at, at this moment. Try and protect your privacy. You might find you get an alert that says someone's trying to hack into your account or something like that. Do try and react to that really quickly and reply and say, no, that's not me. Or whatever you have to do. It feels like a good time for you to check in with your spiritual advisors or your religious advisors if you have them or just with your own guides with your own higher self and again i see you opening up your channels your intuitive channels to be able to receive the information that you need to receive there's some idea that you can get that's only for you it's something like a book you can write or a song you can write it's like for example with all the books that exist in the world there's none like the one that you would write and it feels like you're not ready to start the process. But it's something that you might want to think about like, hey, is everything that could exist existing? Or is there something missing? It feels like it's time to look deeper and think deeper and find your own important ideas that are within you. It doesn't seem like there's anything to do majorly, which is really good for you. It's a very good time for you to just be. Just being and seeing what you need to see without going anywhere, like staying where you are and allowing yourself to receive and download information, but also just observing, watching. And you can just close your eyes and rest if you want. It feels good for you. It feels like there's some important message that kind of wakes you up and makes you want to take action. It might just want to make you go and read or research, but it also might make you want to suddenly listen like you might be watching, say, readings or something, and some of it you feel like you can zone out, zone out, zone out. But then all of a sudden there's one sentence that just feels really, really important. It's like the puzzle piece that you were missing. So take that when you're reading as well, like you might be able to skim read some of the book. And then there's one phrase that you should write down and maybe use it as like a thinking point. Because like maybe there's something that, for example, the author of the book, say it's something about geography might be something that they've written that's fine and all, but it's maybe very simple. Maybe you know a lot more and maybe you can go deeper. Maybe you can study with different books to find the deeper parts. So I do feel like there's something like that in your life where there's something to look into that's deeper. There's something to reflect on. There's something from the past that wants to present itself in your present. And it's something really important. It's like a yellow jumper that reminds you of something or a present that you received once and I feel like you might have a, a vision that's very important so you should write down your visions, write down your dreams it feels like there is a dream that might wake you up from sleep it's got the answer to all your problems and that feels more helpful than thinking about it and more helpful than trying to do something like hey I just woke up and I really realised that I need to do this thing or I realised the answer to that dilemma I had yesterday. It feels very good for you to rest and very good for you to dream. And very good for you to just believe in your own higher self and your own wisdom. And the power of your third eye, I feel like your third eye can be open today. It's just taking for you to relax and rest and meditate and allow the wisdom to come to you. Don't force anything, don't, don't presume you know. 
don't presume you know everything, even if, say, you're a, an expert on, say, geography, there might be something new you can find out today if you just don't believe you're an expert. If you're willing to just always study deeper and always think there's something still new to learn, like, no matter how much anyone knows, there's still something new to learn. And I feel like there's something new for you to learn today. It's the kind of thing that's very, 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 very important kind of changes your opinion on things, or changes your view, or changes your direction, changes your decision making, and it feels like it could be something that you just accidentally stumble across. Like you have a conversation with a friend and they pose you an idea, and it's so interesting that you think, hmm, I must think about that now for the next 25 months of my life. Did they really just say that I'm a chump for having a job and paying rent when I could just sleep in a cave? and eat fish, because I'm a fisherman. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. It feels like someone says something that's like, interesting. I will think about that for the next year of my life now. It feels like some information can change the whole game. It can change your whole idea about life and shift what you want to do. Even if it's like a really practical thing, because I'm feeling a very passive, laid back, chill, sit, think about it. Don't even talk about it except to yourself, it feels like, but you can listen. Listen to information, read information, absorb the information, digest the information. But say if there's like a decision like, should you go for this job or that job? I do feel like there's some information you don't know right now. It's not time to ask questions or hunt for the information, but it's just time for wait, waiting. Because if you wait long enough, it's going to be received the information, it's gonna show itself. I feel like one more night and day, you might even have a dream about something and it's like maybe a vision of what happens if you take the one job versus the other job kind of thing. Like you can see the path the one way is leading you to success and the one way is leading you to downfall. Or one is just a bit awkward and one is a bit better. So I do hope you listen to yourself and listen to your own judgment and don't do anything too much today. Like just try and avoid doing too much. It's kind of a hmm, maybe if someone asks you if you want to do something. Or maybe even don't reply. Just turn your phone off, if anything, and have the silence. It feels like silence is the best thing to listen to, and you might like things like readings. You might like reading, you might like prayer, or like the Quran being read, or something like that, the Torah being read. Recitals of the Bible, but I feel like otherwise you might like silence and your own thoughts. Thank you for watching, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment, let me know how it resonated for you. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, check out the other content on my channel if you're interested, and if you'd like a personal reading, the information will be below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!